it's your ma'am, Jenke Ruste, and welcome to my channel. And if you are new here, kindly like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell for more updates and for more upcoming videos. Alright, today I'm going to show you how my students apply the nonverbal communication. So those are the nonverbal communication are... Number one is kinesic deals with body movements, facial expressions, and gestures. Example, foot tapping and eye rolling. Number two, proxemics. It is the amount of distance or space used in a communication. It is also influenced by social norms, level of familiarity, and personality. Example of proxemics is a woman tries to distance herself from a man who looks indecent. This means that the woman is suspicious of the man. Number three, haptics. The use of touch in a communication. Example of haptics, hugging, shaking of hands, or touching a person's arms. Next is the paralanguage. The use of tone, intonation, pitch, and volume in communication. Example, a person shouts to another person as the other person is far away. Number five is chronemics, involvement of the rule of time in communication. Example, arriving late or asking for time. Next is artifacts, tools or objects used to further point out or clarify the information or message. Example for this is a girl uses a map as she points out the direction to her friend. So the artifact used is the map. Number seven is the appearance. It refers to the physical look that conveys meaning. That is appearance. The grub. My God, it's been 20 minutes.
Dear Brothers. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. As always, girl. Hey, what's up, Gutierrez? It's been a long time since we saw you. How did you easily get here? Of course. I always have my own way. Well, I just book a grab and tell him the address where is the coffee shop located using mobile phone. Hey, Jason, what time is it? Why are friends still not here? Our meeting place. It's already 3.30 p.m. and all of our friends are not around here. They are late, huh? Our call time is 3 p.m. but it's already 3.30 p.m. They are 30 minutes late. What other reason could they tell us how long we've been waiting here? Hi! 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 Oh! They're already here. Why did you take so long to come here, regard? We talk about 3 o'clock p.m. But it's already 3.30. Sorry, we almost got lost. The driver dropped us somewhere. This time, you can use Google Maps so you won't get lost. We've been waiting for you to come for almost an hour. That's time wasting. I met you again. A lot has changed in us. The face is smaller and thinner. Has the attitude changed? And the others had already a relationship? Why did you raise your eyebrow at Umali at Martin? Did something happen to you that we will not know? Hmm? What are you saying, girl? My eyebrows are just itching, so I raised it. There's nothing wrong with that. Martin will be the one to tell us what we had before so we can feel all the story. OMG, I'm so excited. Martin, go, tell us. Oh my guys, maybe we should go to our house already. And also, there is a lot of snacks out there. And also, my mom prepared us a food for all of us. I hope you enjoy. I hate you. You broke my toys. Mom said you will wash the dishes tonight. What? I said you will wash the dishes. No. I miss you. I miss you too. Let's wear our face masks and do social distancing because I'm scared of COVID-19. Me too. Did you see my face mask? Hello, oh, Denise. Oh, you look so gorgeous today. Oh, you must be going to work. Exactly. Morning, 
Douglas. So, I have a surprise to all of you. Surprise situation tayo ngayon. Um, okay, let's start. Please stand up, Miss Kawibes. What is nebula? It's a Latin word for cloud, sir. Hi, Miss.